Hello students. Now I am going to deliver a lecture about a non-linear optical materials that is called NLO materials. This is another topic in a modern engineering material. Non-linear optical materials. The change in optical properties due to electrical and magnetic field associated with light is called non-linear effects and those materials which possesses these effects are called non-linear optical materials. Higher harmonic generation. So this is a very important equation to understand that non-linear optical materials. The higher, higher means that is a second order. So harmonic generation represents the generations of few frequencies with the help of the crystals such as quartz, lithium oxide, etc. Explanation. In a, in a linear medium, polarization is proportional to the electric field E that indi induces it. P is equal to epsilon naught psi into E. Psi is nothing but that is the electrical susceptibility. Epsilon naught is permittivity of a free space. Actually, epsilon is permittivity. Epsilon R is the permittivity of the medium. Okay. When light of a higher intensity is passed through dielectric medium, the electric field has largest amplitude and the oscillations of dipoles are distorted. Therefore, some non-linearity is observed between P, that means polarization, and that electric field. Hence, the higher fields are written as, we can be written that polarization P is equal to epsilon naught into psi 1 e plus psi 2 e square plus psi 3 e cube etc. This is considered as equation number 1 where psi 1 is the linear susceptibility psi 2, psi 3, psi 4 etc. is the higher order non-linear susceptibility. With the increase of higher order terms come into play, let us assume that the field is strong enough to give rise to psi 2. So, P is equal to epsilon naught into psi 1 e plus psi 2 e square that is considered as equation number 2. The electric field passing through the medium can be represented by E is equal to E naught cos omega t. This is equation number 3. Substituting equation number 3 in equation number 1, we get P is equal to epsilon naught into psi 1 E naught cos omega t plus psi 2 e naught square cos omega t plus etc. This is equation number 4. But we know cos omega cos square omega t is equal to 1 plus cos square omega t divided by 2. Cos cube omega t is considered as that is equal to cos cube omega t plus 3 cos omega t divided by 4. <coughs> the equation 4 can be written as p is equal to epsilon naught psi 1 e naught cos omega t plus epsilon naught psi 2 e naught square 1 plus cos square omega t divided by 2 plus epsilon naught psi 3 e naught cube cos cube omega t plus 3 cos omega t divided by 4. So that p is equal to epsilon naught psi 1 e naught cos omega t plus epsilon naught psi 2 e naught square divided by 2 plus epsilon naught psi 2 e naught square cos, cos square <coughs> omega t divided by 2 plus epsilon naught psi 3 cos naught q plus cos 3 omega t divided by 4 plus 3 epsilon naught psi 3 e naught q cos omega t divided by 4 etc. we can write. So in that term we can split it into 4 important terms. First term is considered as p is equal to of epsilon naught psi 1 e naught square plus second term is epsilon naught e naught cos omega t into psi 1 plus 3 by 4 e naught square. The third term is 1 by 2 epsilon naught psi 2 e naught square cos 2 omega t. Three by four, fourth term is 3 by 4 epsilon naught psi 3 e naught cube cos 3 omega t. So this is a final equation that is considered as equation number 5. This non-linear polarization shows that it contains the second harmonic of 
that is omega third term which represents as well as the average term that is the first term called optical rectification it can be shown that only in the crystals lacking inversion symmetry second harmonic generation that is shg second harmonic generation is possible the experimental proof for this is when the fundamental radiation from a laser is sent through shg ssg crystal due to shg conversion to double the frequencies that is half the wavelength takes place for example 1.064 micrometer radiation from <clears throat> neodymium uh, nd yog laser gets converted to 0.532 micrometer on passing through the crystal like kdp adp etc kdp means potassium dihydrogen phosphate adp is ammonium dihydrogen phosphate these are the examples for linear non linear optical materials so this is the experimental setup so ruby laser or india laser is there then lens lens is for that forming the parallel beams quartz crystal the prism is uh, diffracted the waves in that two waves like that finally we can get it in that screen if the incident radiation from the laser is intense enough such that the polarization needs to be represented by three terms that is p is equal to epsilon not into psi 1 e plus epsilon 2 sorry psi 2 e square plus psi 3 e cube that is equation number 6 substituting the value of e that is e is equal to e not cos omega t we already seen that so that is equal to epsilon not into psi 1 e not cos omega t plus psi 2 e not square cos square omega t plus psi 3 e not cube cos cube omega t so p is equal to of epsilon not psi 2 e not square plus epsilon not psi 1 e not plus 3 by 4 epsilon not psi 3 e not cube into cos omega t plus so we are rearranging that above equation so we are getting these four terms the last term in the above equation represents third harmonic generation at the frequency 3 omega likewise one can account for higher harmonic generation by refrigerants when a beam of unpolarized light passes through an isotropic crystal such as quartz or calcite the beam will split up into two refracted beams this is known as double refraction or by refrigerants the direction in which the ray of transmitted light does not suffer double refraction inside the crystal is known as optic axis because in that optic axis the when a light is passed through this optical axis it will not get any disturbance it will go in a straight line if only one optic axis is present in a crystal then it is called uniaxial crystal suppose on the other hand if two optic axes are present in the crystal then it is known as biaxial crystal kerr effect this is very important effect in non linear optical materials in certain isotropic materials such as liquid gases and solids if an electric field is applied perpendicular to the direction of the light beam the medium behaves as a uniaxial material and it exhibits by refrigerants so this is very important uh, effect this phenomena is called as optical kerr effect so this phenomena was first observed by john kerr in 1875 this is a kerr setup the kerr cell is in, uh, shown here a kerr cell is required for studying the effect it can consist of a scaled glass cell filled with a liquid comprising of asymmetric molecules two plane electrodes of a specific length are arranged in it with their faces strictly strictly parallel to each other when a voltage is applied to them a uniform electric field is produced in that particular cell the kerr cell 
is placed between a crossed polarizer system when the electric field is applied the molecules of the liquid tend to align along the field direction as the molecule are asymmetric the aligned causes anisotropy and the liquid becomes double refracting the induced by refrigerance is proportional to the square of the applied electric field and the wavelength of the incident light that means del mu is it is directly proportional to lambda into e square so cancelling the proportionality del mu is equal to k into lambda into e square where k is known as ger constant among the liquids nitrobenzene is found to have the highest value of the ker constant ker cells uses nitrobenzene ker cell used as a electro optic shutter in high speed photography as a light chopper in the measurement of the speed of light thank you